Here's a conundrum for the experts in the development team. So in my INI file, I've got the home use index set to yes. I've got mechanical home switch and a proximity switch attached to my X and my Z axis. The mechanical switch makes home connection first. Then it reads the proximity switch with a one pulse per revolution trigger. When I'm at my extents in X and Z, when I'm close to my home position, I'll show you what it does. So it homes, finds the first pulse, dips back to where, I don't know, it goes to somewhere. Now if I bring my X to here, I shut down the software, start it back up. Enable, home X. Goes back to the switch position, finds the pulse, but then goes back to there. Why does it do that? How do I fix that? Why does it do that? How do I fix that? I want to be able to home the machine anywhere, have it find the first pulse on that proximity sensor after it homes out against the mechanical switch and set zero there, not wrap it back to some weird arbitrary position. That kind of defeats the purpose of having the proximity switch. Now, as a side note to try to get around that, I wrote ladder logic. I know you guys don't really care much for classic ladder, but I did. So I wrote ladder logic, thinking that maybe it had something to do with the... proximity sensor picking up a pulse but now I've got it so that the proximity switch doesn't even become enabled until the mechanical switch is made so when I come down I home against the trigger it latches this circuit which energizes this I30 coil which is the input for the proc switch the proc switch once it makes pay dirt sends the output to here to here, and it disables the latching of the Q30. But it doesn't seem to be driven by the switch or the sensor. It actually seems to be driven by where the software thinks zero is on initial power-up. So I really would like to figure out why it's doing that and how I fix that. So... Andy, Chris, all you guys, help!